I'm Jerry Goodspeed. And I'm J.D. Gunnell. From Utah State University Botanical Center. We're going to show you how to get to this point, a pruned peach tree. Peaches are trained to an open vase center with three to four main branches. These branches typically start around the height of your knee and go to about your waist. And normally we want those branches to have a little bit of space between them vertically so that they're not right apart from each other. The second step is to know where the fruit is found. And the fruit is found on year old wood. And that year old wood is normally a different color. It's kind of an orangey red color. It's what makes the peaches look really cool in my opinion. The other thing to look for is this bud arrangement where you'll have three buds, normally two fat buds on the outside and one thin one on the inside. The two fat buds are where your peaches are going to be. The thin bud, that's where your, your next year's growth is going to be, your vegetative growth. The third step is in correlation with that. Knowing that peaches grow on one-year-old wood, you're going to be pruning about 50% of the tree away, trying to stimulate growth for that next year and also making sure that the wood that you leave can hold up the peaches that, that you want for this year. This could be one of those fast forward moments. I like my life lately. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, step one, we've opened up this tree into an open vase training system. Step two, we've left plenty of year old wood. That's where the fruit is found. Know where the fruit is found. And step three, we've re removed about 50% of this tree, allowing the sun to penetrate the interior of the canopy. We're here in a mature orchard, and here you can see the open vase system on this mature peach. You can see that it's open, the light will come in, and by following the three easy steps that we gave you, your tree can also look like this when it's in full production. For more information, please check out our website at extension.usu.edu.